Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, in today's episode, I want to show you how to use this machinist style indicator to uh, level your bed. And this is the attachment you want to use for it uh, that I got from Thingiverse. Um, you can see the links below. So let's get started. This was actually my first print since I replaced my nozzle. And the first layer started, it kind of got messed up as you can see, but eventually it, the print still turned out pretty good. Um, the print took about an hour and 15 minutes to print. So here's a closer look. As you can see, it's, the walls are pretty straight and seemed fine. I mean, I got some warpage in the corners, um, probably because it didn't adhere to the surface properly. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the print. Now, all I have to do is attach them together with either acetone or surface um, or friction welding, which I can show you in the video separately. So now that we have our parts uh, put together and printed, um, let's open the travel machinist dial indicator. You can pick one of these up at uh, your local Harbor Freight store for like 20 bucks. Um, if you don't have one you can order online at harborfreight.com. I can I'll post the link in the description. Um, it's just a standard one inch travel uh, machinist dial indicator. I saw this on uh, uh, Thingiverse so you can download it. So this is what it looks like. So when you're going to be adjusting the the bed, it will indicate by how much offset it is. And it goes to one thousandth of an inch. So it's a very useful tool. So first you want to assemble it like this. And then you have this pin. Just slide that in there. like that so it's a nice and tight design so it's not going to go anywhere there's no movement at all which is good now let's go put it on the printer and see how uh, leveled my bed is to install the machinist dial indicator you want to first move uh, the nozzle using the jog mode you want to make sure you use the top long face and put it on top of here just like this you want to use your second hand to just kind of support it just press it all the way make sure it's nice and tight and that's how it sits on there you can hit the home axis and the utilities to to bring the nozzle back to its home and to bring the plate back to its home. As you can see it clears, there's plenty enough room for it to clear. Now that it's all the way up, you want to bring it just a little bit down so that way you have enough clearance right here for the indicator. Now that you have the indicator right above the plate, you move it back up again just enough to where you can get a reading. Then you basically move your X axis and your Y axis. Oh, too far. And, and adjust accordingly. After you're done with the dial and you don't want it to be in the way during the print, just use a pen to push out the pin right here. You put back the pin in there so that you don't lose it during the print. But I personally want to leave this thing here, that way it doesn't get loose, me taking it off and on. Um, so, and that that's my dial. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, uh, and share with your friends. <laughs>